The next generation of GPTs are finally here and we're not actually talking about ChatGPT. If you're anything like me, I've tried to build knowledge bases in several different ways, but there's always been something that's frustrating throughout that process and it's the actual files that you have to upload because they're static, meaning they're fixed and when you, you can't really change them without deleting it, uploading it, and deleting it, uploading it. And I've used third-party tools that allow you to rapidly refresh based on websites or things like that, but never on the actual documentation. And Google has just fixed this. They have released their new platform that links directly with Google Drives. Updating a document, your knowledge base or chatbot will be educated on all those changes. Now, the way that my company is using this is we are building basically SOPs through Google Drives and we have a simple spreadsheet that has a list of all of those and the files get uploaded, but then they get updated. And when those get updated, the issue was our AI was not being updated with it. So they would consistently, someone have to go manually change this. And we've tried several different softwares and none of them really work very well with a live link to Google Drive, which honestly is just the easiest thing to use. Even as you get to larger and larger organizations, it's still a very simple way to make this knowledge base. So this morning, literally today, I got an email saying, hey, we have this new program and it's called Notebook LM. So it's the brand new thing. It comes, we use Google emails. It comes with our program, our already paid for, and we have their pro version, whatever that means. So I'm gonna jump in and show you what I'm doing with this tool. So first off, the reason why I found out about this is they literally emailed me this morning and they said, look, we have this new cool tool. Why don't you try it out? And you know, I was like, why not? This is something I've been trying to do anyways. And we have a cool version of it, but this is probably going to replace it. So I come in here, I jumped in, I already built one. So we can start from scratch real quick. I'll show you what it looks like. Let's see if it'll open a new one for me. This is exactly what it looks like when you start from scratch. You can create one and it's probably gonna ask me to upload files. So you get to upload Google Drives, Google Slides. I wish that they had Excel files or Google Sheets because a lot of our SOPs are there. So hopefully they'll add that in the future. Uh, you can do websites. The one thing that I don't like about the website is it only gives you that specific page and no images, which is okay, but you have to, you can't do a tree map, I don't think yet, to like um, kind of link and have it go search all of the, crawl the whole website. So I uploaded manually a couple websites, YouTube videos, and just plain text. So I would probably ignore plain text. I would put that into a Google Doc. So I'm going to jump into the one that I built. What happens is it gets added to this source section right here. And then in here you get your chat and some cool features on the side that I'll go through really quickly. Uh, if you have experience with knowledge bases and things like that, it's gonna work similar from this point on. I, there's just one piece of that I thought was really cool was the live link to the Google Drives. But they've also done some things that I have never seen before and I'm really enjoying. So first off, we have all our knowledge base. We were already in Google Drive and we're already using that. So there's just, you know, our sales documents, our SOPs, what people are expected to do, training materials, scripts, all of that's built into here. But they did these, a couple cool things. So I clicked on this mind map button and the mind map takes, it took me about 30 seconds ish. And then all of a sudden, all of a sudden it uploaded and I got this, which again, this is my company's knowledge and it's broken into departments. So we have sales, public relations, marketing, billing, standard operating procedures, which I think we probably need to actually go into these different things. Human resources, legal terms, like let's check out legal terms. It's probably our terms of service, billing cycle. So as people have questions or, you know, I wanna work with, actually I wanna work with a sales consultant. I'm looking to bring on a sales consultant to help scale part of our business. I can, instead of having to rebuild all this stuff, I already have the SOPs, now I have a mind map. They can just go pick away at literally my mind of documentation. And then it, it's pulling up our internal documents and terms, actually this is from our terms of service. Uh, and then it links to the source documents, literally talking about refunds, what that process looks like. You have your sources here where it's actually pulling from which again for my team is going to be great. I'm gonna be able to share this with everyone. They have an easy share button where I can add people and do things like that. So super powerful. Uh, same thing at Google Drive would be, you can share by a link. And then in here, there are a few other things. You can take an audio overview, take notes, 
but obviously I can refresh and I can chat like normal. I can ask it questions. I can ask about my sales process, anything there. I haven't even looked at this analytics guide custom. So you can give it a prompt so it can, you know, be that expert or consultant, whatever you want it to be. Default, you can have shorter responses, longer responses. I probably want shorter for my team. All right, so they have this section right here, which I thought was really cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete this and show you what it is. But basically it created a podcast based on a prompt. So I gave it a custom prompt. I said something about act as a consultant for Otter PR. And I didn't realize that it's literally just a podcast. It's two people speaking and then it generated this whole story about our business. So I can actually go in here and have it, you know, I mentioned wanting to bring in a sales consultant. I can say, hey, outline our sales process and it'll make a podcast. It had two people talking back and forth, which I just, I don't know what you would use that for. I guess maybe marketing and sales. Maybe your people are gonna start publishing these as podcasts, but the audio was pretty good um, and it was, entertaining you can add notes you can add study guides brief docs like there's so much you can create an faq i haven't played with all of these but it's literally generating an faq now like that was it it's searching all the sources i will pull this up in a second as it loads but again the thing that my team uses the most is we already have a chat bot and they're just asking questions so uh, if we have a new salesperson and they're like, okay, what do I do after I make a sale? You ask that and boom, it's gonna tell them exactly what to do based on our SOPs. But not only that, it's going to link to the source documents. So for those more analytical people or people that really wanna see exactly what to do, they can jump in to that document and learn more. Let's see what this FAQ looks like. Everything is endless here and it's super powerful. And this is something that I'm gonna share with my team and they'll probably start using more. If you guys like content like this, please make sure to subscribe. And I do have a link of a whole bunch of templates and tools that I personally use. You can click down below, get back on my email list. I would appreciate it. Thank you and have a great day.